Fairchild, aka Combinator, and I'm here to tell you about a new line of speaker cabinets from Gensler Amplification, the new classic series of cabs. So stick around. And we're lost, debating truth and value. Life betrays these values. We are the fire. seen a video or two of me playing, uh, chances are you've almost certainly heard or, or witnessed a Jeff Gensler designed product. I started playing Gensben stuff in the late 90s and I've been playing Gensler amplification gear for the past six years or so. Right now you, you might know that I'm a huge gearhead and there really isn't that much out there right now that's like these speaker cabinets. They are ferrite ceramic loaded cabs uh, that are super lightweight. You may notice that the cabs are set up in a vertical sort of orientation, which I actually use with my other speaker cabinets. So the 210 here has two 10 inch drivers that are kind of offset from each other. And then the tweeters up in the corner and that's how I set up my 210s, even the ones that are that are meant to be laid down on the side. I can hear what I want to hear a little bit more. I can hear the, the, the sounds of articulation a little bit better. Uh, and then both are ported on the bottom, so they're very clearly supposed to kind of stand upright. They stack really, really nicely too. <laughs> I hear in terms of difference from these two cabs is that the 12 uh, is very even uh, just in general it's kind of just super flat and super even especially when it's when it's down lower on the floor um, but it has a really extended low frequency response so I really like that when I'm doing kind of electronica and, and really bass frequency heavy stuff um, and I don't like it as much when I'm doing more chordal things and I want, I want the mid-range to speak more. The, the 2x10 is really much more that way. So it's, it's a little bit more uh, mid-oriented, but not in the boxy kind of 500 hertz, 600 hertz, really horrible zone. It's got a lot of low mids happening, an aggressive um, lower treble or kind of mid-treble response, which, which I really like. So it helps a lot for me to be able to hear all of those, those transient sounds and attack sounds, but also obviously the body of a note as I'm playing, as I'm singing, as a bunch of things are going on. <laughs> player you're part of a feedback loop and what you hear at least for me what I hear inspires me to play differently and, and to play better when when I'm really enjoying what I'm hearing back in return it creates this this uh, circular loop um, and I'm really sensitive to the way that my mid-range sounds and there's something about ceramic driver speaker cabs that just give you this nice churny thick uh, sweet kind of girthy mid-range that has dips in just the right place for me personally and kind of the, the low treble or, or upper mid-range that I really enjoy and it kind of brings out the best in the way that I play. So again, um, definitely give them a shot. They are two of the tightest most enjoyable sounding speaker cabs I've played through recently. They make me want to play more which is something that doesn't happen all the time 
being so busy uh, teaching and recording and all of that. So anytime something makes me want to play more these days, uh, it's, they're doing something right. All these tracks and samples that you've been hearing today come from my latest album, Ear Goggle Fodder. So go check out Combinator Ear Goggle Fodder on Spotify, on whatever service you use at combinator.bandcamp.com. I really appreciate your support. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Yeah.